Hello Megalithomaniacs, here we are in Glastonbury at Bushy Coombe, which is right near Glastonbury Tor, which is just behind us over there. And today is May the 1st, or Beltane. This is where we have the big celebration, a procession through town, the dragons, the druids, the pagans, and also the May Day procession and the May Queen, as well as the May Pole. And there are many traditions, as you know, to do with uh, the kind of May Pole and the fertility aspects of this. But there's much more, there's different elements here. This whole area around Glastonbury or Avalon used to be like a mystery school within itself. And so, yeah, I'm just going to show you, uh, you know, what we've filmed here because it's just a beautiful day out. It's a bit wet and misty, but still, at least this tradition is maintained, and only a few parts of Britain actually still have this. I think the actual uh, Beltane mythology that is uh, from this place, the Isle of Avalon, that was recorded in, uh, for example, the Welsh Book of Merlin, is, is you know, it gets missed a lot in the in the contemporary celebration, and uh, you know, essentially the the battle between Gwythyr and Gwynabnud, I think, is is really pivotal in the coursing of the uh, the eternal hunt. That image, where effectively, like the uh, this hunt is is circling the world and. Uh, Essentially, these two great uh, princes, the Prince of Winter and the Prince of Summer, meet in battle on this date. Uh, and where we were pr just before, which is the uh, where the, the red and the, the white spring meet, you know, that's that's that has the polarity, the exchange of polarity that, that allowed that uh, to happen. So it was, uh, you know, this is I think it's one of the most powerful uh, and like resonant. Uh, images of uh, British folklore because the actual reality of living in this country is that the summer is totally different from the winter. So it's like a very powerful way of explaining that and, and really putting it down to uh, you know this this exchange between uh, you know forces I think is uh, yeah it's really really speaks of this land. The land is, you know, is a mystery school, and that, you know, there has been. Uh, I mean, kind of picking through like the aggregation of of layers of stuff stuck on top of the actual myths that are related to this place. I think that that's the, you know, that's the the interesting thing here because you know, as we're saying, like lightheartedly, that that you know, the Maypole celebrations here are ten years old, and this is a, a new phenomenon. So I think that it gets, you know, what gets missed is really the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the fuller picture. You know, for example, like Bell's Fire, you know, that's what it's about. It's about essentially, uh, uh, you know, the God of Fire and the beginning of summer. And, uh, you know, we've got parts of the tradition and we kind of like lean into them heavily. But when people dance around the Maypole, you know, the point of dancing around the Maypole is to kind of select a, a partner, you know, for your, you know, for, for whatever you, whatever you choose, for for frolicking and uh, making merry. So we're kind of missing out on that bit. 